Hey, today I want to tell you about The Autobiography of an Ex-Colored Man by James Weldon Johnson. And I saw this book on Didi's channel and it was around about 200 pages and I thought, it sounds really interesting. I should check it out. And I really enjoyed it. Going into the book, I thought I'm reading a true autobiography because that's what it says, it's an autobiography. But at some point in the book, I was like, is this really true? And I found out that this is a novel and that James Weldon Johnson published it anonymously first in, I think, 1910, and that people believed it to be a true autobiography. And that happened to me too, because it sounds so real. And we don't really have a name of a person whose autobiography we're reading. The whole book is very vague when it comes to names and places, because he says in the beginning that he doesn't want to be too specific, because there are people still living there who might know him. And that really evokes the feeling that this is a true autobiography. And the reason for him not wanting to give names is because he is not sure whether he's a white person or a colored person. When we start the book, I thought I was reading of a colored person because it's a colored person, but I had the feeling that the little boy was believing himself to be a white person. And it turns out that he did. Until he was 10 or 11 years old, the main character didn't know that his mother was a colored person. And this totally changed his look on life and I thought that was really interesting how this little boy who was so sure that he was a white person he was looking down or treating the colored people in his school differently was just all of a sudden thrown in a group with them and he was so confused and he stayed confused for most of his life we see how he perceives the world and the colors and the whites and every other nation and culture, like when he's in Europe, the Germans, the French and the English, through his eyes. And I think the perspective is really interesting, how he sees and perceives the different cultures. And that is the part I really, really like about the book. And the race question in America is a huge part of this book. He was born shortly after the Civil War, so North America and South America, they're not really like, yeah, we're one country again, the blacks are like the whites and all these things. There is still a lot of discussion and a lot of injustice going on. And we see it through his eyes and how he tries to be part of the colored culture and be a colored person and how he fails at some point and how he thinks about all the opportunities he has because he could be a white man. He's very, very fair skinned. So people don't recognize him as a colored person immediately. And that is an opportunity he has and he thinks of exploiting. And this is a really interesting part of the book. Overall, I thought this book was very interesting. I can only recommend it to anyone who's interested in the African-American history or in the time after the Civil War, the turning of the century. There was a lot of the culture and the life that was going on there. And it is so well written. The writing just flows. I just felt like he was telling the story to me, no flaws. He was just flowing on this narrative and it was just such a great read. I can only recommend it to anyone. As usual, I want to know what you think of the book, if you have read it, or if you know James Weldon Johnson, what you think of his writing and his life. Let me know in comments. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.